Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we actually do have some very interesting news to talk about today. And I know that you guys have already read the title. I know that you guys already know what I am going to be discussing within today's video. But yes, it's true that many of the stories that we are going to be discussing today, it's very unexpected because I did not expect to hear this type of news in today's time. I really did think that this story was fully resolved and that we are no longer going to hear about this person or about this situation. And so it is about the bars of Gate scandal that did happen about a year and a half ago. We are going to be discussing that by the end of this video, but before we go into those topics, we're also going to be talking about Lenglet, Antoine Griezmann, Memphis Depay, and the training session that they did have earlier today. And then we're also going to be moving on towards Martin Brethwaite. Martin Brethwaite has been a player that many were expecting to see leave and exit the club by the beginning of this summer, but it does seem very difficult and it does seem like that there are not many clubs out there that are willing to purchase Martin Brethwaite in the summer. And so again, we are going to be discussing this today within today's video. And we are first going to be talking about Antoine Griezmann, Lenglet, Frankie de Jong, and Memphis Depay. So as expected, right, earlier today, there was a training session. We saw Memphis Depay. He is going to be training for the rest of this whole week. It's also very refreshing to see these players back into the training ground. I'm loving the fact that club football is back. I cannot wait to see Barcelona play again and to see Messi, Memphis Depay, and Aguero all play together once more. And we can see here through the pictures that Memphis Depay is very happy happy that he's with Ronald Koeman and you can feel that Memphis Depay and Koeman are really working on trying to get the best maximum potential and version of Memphis Depay. Now keep in mind that Depay is only going to be training in the first training session. He's not going to be participating in the second session which is going to be the off the ball work. In the first training session that he was in which was in the morning it was more on the ball work and that they were going to be strategizing how they're going to be taking on the opponent for tomorrow's night's match against Gymnasti. And so when it does come to the other players we did see Antoine Griezmann on the training ground. We saw Linglet on the training ground. And we also did see Frankie de Jong back as well. And many have been questioning the fact that we saw Antoine Griezmann train with Ronald Koeman. Does that mean that he's going to be staying? And so we do have a report coming from Joseph Soldado Gomez. And he has stated that Griezmann has been training on the training ground with FC Barcelona. But the club does continue to find a buyer for Antoine Griezmann. So basically, even though we are seeing Griezmann train with Barcelona, the club, Joan Laporta, Mateo Le and Ramon Planes are still looking for other buyers to sell Antoine Griezmann in the summer. And I also want you guys to keep in mind that as of now, the main players that we are seeing today, which is Frankie de Jong, Antoine Griezmann, Memphis Depay, and Linglet, none of them are going to be featuring in any friendlies this week. I do believe that Kumin does want to have more training sessions for these players in order for these players to become more fit, to understand how these players should be approaching these friendlies, to know what their roles is going to be, and many other things. And so when it comes to the match review between Barcelona and Gymnastic, I am going to be making Making that tomorrow after the game is over should be very interesting again we should not expect to see any big names within this game but it is always great to see many of these youngsters get a chance against teams like this during friendlies and so again we're going to be making a match review for this match tomorrow and now moving on towards the next topic of today and we're going to be talking about martin breathwhite so like i have said we are waiting for the next club for martin breathwhite ever since laporta and mato laman has worked on those arrivals which was aguero and memphis Depay, it was clear on what the intentions of Barcelona were and that was that they wanted to sell Martin Brethwaite they wanted to move on and so we do have a report coming from Luis Rojo and he has stated Martin Brethwaite has not made a final decision on his future so far and he is not in a rush but no scenario is ruled out by the player as of today a move to England seems to be the most likely scenario with West Ham and Wolves eyeing his situation so the question right now is not if Martin Brethwaite will be sold it's more like when will he be sold and this is a very big problem right the fact that we're asking when is Martin Brethwaite going to be sold Barcelona right now is a club in the summer that is moving very quickly Barcelona do need answers why do you think that Barcelona are trying extremely hard to find a buyer for Antoine Griezmann it is because they need answers they need to have an estimate an idea on where this club is going to be positioned at by those last two weeks of the summer because there has been many reports stating that these are the reasons why Messi's renewal is on hold it is because they do not know if many of these players could actually be sold in the summer and this Barcelona does need to meet the salary cap. And look, by no means am I saying that Martin Brethwaite is not doing what he's supposed to be doing. What's actually going on here is the fact that Barcelona's financial mess right now, it is ludicrous. And I understand why it could be frustrating for some of these fans and the people within the club to know that it is difficult to sell the players that they do want to sell. And does this also mean that Martin Brethwaite is a bad player? No, Martin Brethwaite is a great player. He has a lot of professionalism, but the quality in the role that he was playing last season has not been 
enough. Barcelona want to strengthen that quality within that role. They want to have a better super sub. And that is a player like either Sergio Aguero or maybe even Dembélé. But that is it, right? Those are the two clubs that are currently linked with Martin Brathwaite. And I do want to go further into the situation with Wolves because there has been some reassessment coming from the agent of Martin Brathwaite. And many reporters have actually asked the agent of Martin Brathwaite, is it true that Jorge Mendes is working with Martin Brathwaite in order to move Martin Brathwaite to Wolves? And this is what the agent had to say. Mendes has nothing to do with Brathwaite. It is all false. He doesn't have players in Barcelona. He has players in Wolves that he can focus on. So I do take care of my own players. Why would Martin Brathwaite move to Wolves? And why would an agent like Jorge Mendes, who has no players at Barcelona, try to send my players to Wolves? Even though I know Mendes has good links to such clubs like Wolves, it is a waste of time. So first of all, I just want to quickly correct this agent. There is a player that Jorge Mendes does have, and that is Ansu Fati. And point number two, if anyone here is thinking that Martin Brathwaite's future is in the hands of Jorge Mendes, that is completely false. And so as of now, we're going to have to wait and see what is going to be the next move for Martin Brathwaite. Is he actually going to be staying at Barcelona or could we see another buyer potentially come and bid for this player? And now lastly, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be talking about the Barca Gate situation. And again, many of you guys are going to be having trouble to believe what actually went on here and why I am bringing this up. And so for those of you guys who do not know what this Barca Gay situation is about. This is something that did happen about a year and a half ago. I did talk about this around that time, but I do want to refresh everyone's memories in order for you guys to understand what could go on in the future. And to put it in the most simplest and easiest way possible, I'm going to say it like this. President Bartomeu and some other board members hired a company named i3 Ventures. And what Bartomeu told i3 Ventures was this. Look, I will pay you millions of euros to your company if you guys can make fake social media accounts in order to target the people that I do not like and to target some of the players that is currently working within the club or has worked with the club. And so yes, it's true. Bartomeu has done that. I know that it is very hard to believe, but that is the type of man that Bartomeu was. He wanted a company and hired a company and told them, look, make fake social media accounts and target these people that I am listing right here. And at that time, when it first did surface, it was all just speculation because no one can prove that Bartomeu did hire this company in order to target the people that he wanted to target. And then fast forward towards March 2nd, 2021, the police actually went on to go investigate Bartomeu's house and even the football club Barcelona. And then hours later, we found out that Bartomeu, a man named Mas Ferrer, and two other club officials were arrested and Bartomeu was at jail for one night. And then on Tuesday morning, he was released from jail. And that is only because Bartomeu and the rest of the other board members have said that they have exercised their right to not speak. And then fast forward towards today, now we have some breaking news and it says here, according to Rack 1, the head of i3 Ventures, Carlos Ibanez, confirms before the judge that the management of Bartomeu commissioned the creation of false profiles to defame players as well as people going against them, which is basically what I have just explained. And this is some huge news because this man cannot continue to hide from his wrongdoings. And this also does speak volume on why in other areas of the club is currently suffering. When you do want to do bad business in one area, in football, that is also why it is going to be translating in other areas. So when it does come to the wages of these players, the transfer the transfer fees that Barcelona has paid, the sporting plan overall, and even to the mismanagement of the managers. I remember when Bartomeu was speaking to other coaches while Valverde was still hired in Barcelona, and then even going to underselling the players that they were selling. Selling Rakitic for 1 million, selling Luis Suarez for around the ranges of 3 to 5 million. It was all bad business. And now everyone is sitting here seeing Bartomeu pay the price and to go through these consequences. So to be very honest, I do not know what's going to be happening next. Whatever does happen with Bartomeu, whether he gets arrested again or goes to jail, we are going to be talking about it here in this YouTube channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.